Okay. And this one's on the intermediate list. Um, I don't know why. It should actually be on the beginners because it's a lot easier to do a bunch of different things if the dog knows how to tug. So, very seldomly do I ever get a pup that doesn't want to tug. <laughs> and um, if you do, um, you know, your best thing to do is just run it along the floor and get their drive, or their prey drive going. I mean, most dogs are will chase things. It's in their nature. Um, like I say, it's always best to do this when they're puppies. Um, and get, get them going on that. Um, it's kind of hard for me to show you um, how to teach her because <laughs> she loves to tug. But tug can be used for opening doors, closing doors, um, all kinds of things. But like I say, if you got a, a puppy that doesn't want to really tug or a dog, then you just um, drop it. Gemma. Drop it. Good girl. Right. Come here. Sit. I know you're not in trouble. Just put it on the floor and just start moving it like this. And like I say, their prey drive just kicks in because I mean, dogs naturally like to chase things. So um, it's usually pretty easy to get them going on tug. And then once they get it, you just you tell them, tug, tug, tug. Yes, good girl. When they pull on it, you, you, you just say, yeah, you don't have to treat on this one because the game itself is a reward. Uh, yes, good girl. Tug. Get it. Tug. Yes. Tug. Yes, good girl. Good girl. And this here is just like an old shirt that I cut up because the little, um, good girl, the little uh, ropes that you get from playing tug, they, they destroy in a heartbeat. I always got little strings all over the house. Tug. Tug. Yes, good girl. Tug. Get it. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, yes, good girl, good girl, get it, good girl, get it, yes. Helps put a couple knots in it so when they try to tug, they, uh, good girl, Gemma, tug, tug, they can get a grip on it, good girl, tug, tug, yes, good girl, tug, yes, good girl. Like I say, if they know how to tug, then you can tie their tug on a handle. You can get them to open and close doors, um, the refrigerator. Um, that one I haven't really taught my dogs yet to go get a drink out of the refrigerator. Because I don't think I want my dogs knowing how, to, you know, how easy it is for them to get into the refrigerator. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Yes. Oh, you think that deserves a treat? Oh, let's get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes. Get it. Get it. Yes, good girl. <laughs> Sometimes these guys don't want to tug um, because they they think they're, it's kind of like they don't want to take stuff away from me or something. So I really got to get them going. And it's a lot easier to do it outside too because then you got room and you can toss it. And when you toss it and they bring it back, then you can tug on it and you play the game. Um, so tug's a pretty, pretty easy one. Okay, here it goes. Yes, good girl. Work on fetch. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sometimes if my dogs don't want to play with a ball, then we do this. And once they see how fun it is to, to um, go get it and bring it back and play tug, then they're more willing to go after a ball. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it. Good girl. <laughs> okay. Tug is easy. That's out. Watch your butt. Get off me. <laughs>